Hello everyone. Do you usually upload your pictures on Instagram with this carousel method where you upload like a continuous photo but you use like different slides and you want to be able to do that with Affinity Photo? I used to do this in Photoshop but I want to show you guys how to do it in Affinity Photo since I have switched to Affinity Photo. So let's get into it. So first off you want to open up Affinity Photo. While that's opening up, I also want to, you know, pull up the pictures that I want to post. So I have separated the pictures that I want to post inside a, I have like a list because I have like, you know, <laughs> different sets of pictures that I want to post with that method. And I also have like the folder for the pictures that I want to upload. So they're in here. So these are the pictures I want to post, but I'm not posting everything, but just a few basically in different ways. So now that Affinity Photo is open, I can switch this here to inches because I like to work with inches because that's what I'm used to, I guess, from my sewing days i'm used to working with inches so now you have to determine your page width and the height when you're uploading on instagram oh i like to upload on instagram with the four by five so this is four by five so this is four inches and this is five inches so your width would be four and your height will be five if you're uploading just one picture but because once there's this carousel kind of method where you have like continuous slides of the same picture you would be determining your width based on how many pictures you intend to upload now the maximum you can upload on instagram is 10 slides so 10 times 4 will have will be 40 and because that's 40 i'm going to make my width 40. now i might not end up using all slides but we'll see how you know how that goes and my height would be five inches because the height remains the same now this i leave this 300 dpi where it's at and support use pixels i find it it's a lot of numbers for me to to work with with pixels it feels like that sometimes so i tend to use the inches but you would eventually use pixels when you're slicing which i'll show you when we get there so now I'm going to create my long um, carousel, I guess, of <laughs> 10 slides. So I'm going to wait for that to pop. So like I said, I have my pictures here and these are the pictures I'm going to be using. I'm not using everything like I said earlier because I have like different slides I want to post, but we'll see how it goes. The other thing I'm, I need to do now is to go into my view and then check my guides now i want to create guides i know i uploaded or i created the background with the 40 inch width or 40 inches width so because of that i'm going to be slicing this entire row we have just one row by the way if you're doing like you're trying to upload upload different sets and they should be sort of cohesive you might have more than one one row uh they probably would do that but i feel like it just occupies so much space on instagram so i don't really like it getting past just one upload basically so what i'm going to do is have one row because that's what we have here we only had like one height of five and then we have columns of 10 so i'm going to increase this to 10 because it's going to pretty much divide what i have to 10 now let me just show you what it looks like as you're dividing so it currently has margins and has these gutters which i do not need now if i wanted to do upload pictures where i would have like um, margins and whatnot it's possible to do that here maybe i'll do another video another video that has that but right now that's not what we're working with so i'm going to get rid of all the margins because they'll end up taking up space and you know that's not what we want so I'm going to change this to zero. All four are going to be changed to zero. Good. Now I have gotten rid of all the margins. Now I need to get rid of the gutter. So this is the gutter. These are gutters that like you're seeing here. 
and I just need to change that to zero as well. I press my enter key to just confirm that I'm changing that to zero. And now you have 10 slides that you're going to upload. We get to the slicing parts in a bit, but now that that's set, I can close this and keep it moving. Now it's time to drop in my pictures. So you can go through file and place, but because I'm just used to being um, disorganized, <laughs> I'm used to doing things not the right way. I am just going to drag and drop my pictures however I want them to be and figure out what I want to do. So I have this for, um, I have these um, pictures of a sports festival that I took over the weekend that I want to post. So this is the house that one. They had like four houses and this is the house that one. And I just want to post the slides of the house that one. So I'm going to start off with this one. Just going to drag it to into this place because that's pretty much what I do. And I'm going to grab this guy. Now that I've created, because I've created my slides, I know how to like fit in things where I want to, just cause I already have this like created. So now that I use this um, selection, I think it's move to, yeah, it's move to. So I just use that to select my picture and just size as I go. So now this has taken like almost two slides. I might adjust it later, I don't know yet, but let's just keep it moving. So that's like the first one. I'm going to go for another one. Uh, let me see. Hmm. Let's see. Let me use. Should I use this one? I already put this one. So you guys don't need to listen to this part. It's just me deciding what I want and fixing the pictures however I want them. So. So you can size these things the way you want them to be, you can crop them some the way you want. So everywhere outside the canvas is not going to show up when you slice. So you can adjust as you want, crop as you want, so that and focus on the areas that you want to focus on, like I am currently doing. When you arrange these pictures, do make sure that they are sort of overlapping that way you don't have like awkward gaps in your pictures you don't really want us to, to see awkward gaps when you finally you know upload so i'm making them overlap overlap <laughs> overlap in a way just so that i am sure that there are no awkward gaps um, I might want to zoom in on the hog here, so I'm just going to zoom in on the hog. Yeah, so I don't need the rest of it. And that's that one. This one, they look super organized, which I like, so I'm going to leave that the way it's the way it is. I think, is that all the pictures? Hmm. So people say carousels give you like better engagement because people are like going back and forth between the pictures to see and really see. So I don't know if that really is the case, but I just enjoy posting them. So <laughs> I enjoy working with them. That's why I do them. I don't really have any like Instagram motivation for doing so. And then this one, it's right where it's at. Yeah. So this is like a, this is a full slide of ten pictures. By the time it's all sliced, it'll be ten pictures. So now I have to like zoom in and see that I don't have any awkward gutters or gaps anywhere anywhere that could mess up my picture. And also arrange the pictures the way I want them to be seen, because sometimes I want some to overlap, be on top, and some to be at the bottom. So. Between these two now, I want this one to be on top of this one to this to cover this so to get and it should also cover this as well. So I'm going to move it up. 
yeah so now it's covering the side i might even just close the entire thing because i don't really need that place showing at all yep good and then this place here yeah, i think it's covering the way i want it to cover yeah i don't need that guy showing sorry <laughs> i don't need him there and um i'm gonna move this up a little yeah i can see the legs and whatnot yeah do not mind that great and then for this one hmm i guess i can move this this way yeah still in celebratory mode and then this one i can probably expand it a little more and make yeah sort of yeah i think these are good i took this from this angle took this from this angle and i think this looks good i think that this represents what i want to post and this is cool yeah so now we can go on to the slicing parts which is what confused me the most when i was trying to do this here because my mind i just thought i'll just come into a finished photo and i'll figure it out because i used to do this in photoshop remember and somewhere here in photoshop you could just go to this place um not here but there was the the cropping tool had like other um tools beneath that and one of them was the slice tool and we don't have that here so i kept looking where is the slice tool how do i slice these things anyway apparently there is a persona that is just separate for it's called the export persona and in this persona you have this guy which is actually the slice tool and so now we're going to start slicing our pictures you know we did our i did i created my canvas where i placed these pictures with inches and so i had to put that in at the back of my mind but i'll just tell you the numbers to use once you start slicing so to slice now you have your picture here i'm going to zoom in so it's easy for you to see and oh my god undo that that was not part of <laughs> the way that this thing just creates slices that you don't send for so so now you're going to grab your first slice and the good thing about this is that you might make the wrong cuts you're going to slice according to the guides that you have what i wish affinity will do is just have a button that just says slice according to the guides that i already have so i can keep it moving but it does not have that so i just have to deal with what what we have use what we have so i'm just going to grab this like this and then to my first slide adjust it to my first slice and one thing what's good about this is that you can adjust your slice in case you did rubbish so <laughs> So the height is 1,500 standard. Why? Because you're using 300 DPI. 300 multiplied by 5, which is a 5 inches width, will give you 1,500. And so 300 multiplied by 4, which is the size we're trying to go for when we're going on Instagram, will give you 1,200, 1,200. So you just have to adjust this to 1,200. Zero, zero, and you are good to go. It will adjust and you're good. Now you do your second slice. You do all the slices all the way till you get to your 10th slice. So um, let's do so. From now, I'll start cutting from the other end because, yeah. So I'm just going to adjust this again. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. So, yeah, so it will just adjust once you do that. And I'll just keep cutting till I get to my 10th slice. I got that one right. Good. Now we have, as you can see, we have 10 slices. It shows you slice 10. So what you're going to do now is to do your export settings. For some reason, I don't know why, it so the automatic um setting here is png for some reason i had to adjust the export setting here and also here i don't know why that is but for some reason that is it's annoying so i did set this to single high quality i don't know you can use any other setting you want here depends on what you're trying to do and i'm going to do this setting for every single one of them exhausting yes 
I feel you. So one last thing, you need to turn off this guy because you well if you plan to export this guy you can turn it on but i plan to export just the slices that i created and not the full canvas so i'm turning this off so that it's not included in my export so now i can uh, click on this one that says export 10 slices and when i do that i have to choose where i want it to be and hmm just gonna create a new folder so that i just know what i'm doing i'm gonna create a new folder in here for my slices you know give whatever name you want <laughs> and then export two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh i made a mistake here for some reason damn i'm just realizing i made a mistake here what did i like so or maybe i did i'm confused <laughs> i don't know i feel like i made a mistake here like my picture wasn't sitting properly on the edge but let me see that in here uh oh i'll do that So if I go back to my regular photo persona and I really zoom in. Uh -oh. Gonna click on this and click on this. Okay, I, get, I don't think I made any mistake. I think it's just my eyes. <laughs> I think it's just my eyes. Because this picture is you no know, is is cropped, so clearly my eyes. <laughs> okay there was no mistake fine so i have these 10 pictures that i'm going to upload to instagram So Instagram is going to do the sharing and yeah, my post has been shared. I can take a look at it. Where's my post? You said you said it shared has been shared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, this quote looks awkward, so I'm just going to edit that and take out the quotes <laughs> i don't like the quotes in there done good okay I just add one more thing love house love love house and those i think i can tag people can do the rest on Instagram when I remember but for the most part these are the pictures and I really like them good so that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys learned something and you're able to do this on your Instagram page so what I was trying to even say earlier about posting is if you wanted to post say one picture but you wanted it to cover like one two three four five this entire place for example you would increase your height so I use the height of five so if i was going to do it two i would use the height of 10 you know and then start slicing that way you know slice in a way that it's divide it divides into the number that i need so six different slices or whatnot but my carousels are just i prefer to just do my restraint of carousels as opposed to doing like a collage yeah i think that's the word collage anyway that's it if you have any questions you can type it in the comments and i will answer to the best of my ability it's so humid right now and it's trying to rain and the weather is really confused this global warming is insane do enjoy the rest of your time on youtube and bye for now